intro of silence. Now before I start with that horrible joke, let's start with saying there are over 600 Pokemon in the Pokemon universe. And it was very hard for me to pick my top 10. But still, let's continue on. Coming in at number 10 would be Raikou. He helped me with my first ever Pokemon match, which is best enough, and I don't really hate his artwork. So he makes it on his list at number 10. At number 9, Chansey. She's still on my team, and of course, she's my Stealth Rocker, Egg Shooter, Soft Boiler, Earthquaker, and Toxic. So, um, she's just epic on her own. And, of course, she's a very tough egg to crack. Horrible joke number two. Blastoise. On his own, he has freaking cannons on his back. If that's not enough to put him on this list. He comes in at number seven for being my first ever starter. Now, I started in red and blue because I thought that it was in a sequence. I was wrong. It was not in a sequence. It was definitely not in a sequence. You guys are going to hate me for this, but I actually decently like Nagamian. Not because I like all of its artwork and stuff, because it's so underrated. It has great defense if you train it up, and even it can be used in the metagame if it's used well. So, I seriously try out Pokemon that you haven't tried out before. Like, let's see, Magikarp, you can evolve into Gyarados, and some other things that you might have thought were horrible but actually decent. That's the main reason why I like Meganium. Blastoise and Meganium could be differentiated with spots, so that's why. Well, you could choose which one you want me to keep sixth and which one you want me to keep seventh. Here. It's your choice. Coming in at number five as a definite five would be Zekrom. <laughs> Zekrom has a unique. Um, Characteristic of not being evil for a dark type Pokemon, or well, not dark type, but like you know, deep black Pokemon that just seemed men um, evil. But of course, since I watch Pokemon Black, that would mean that I am on his side. But another reason is because he's my second Pokemon. My uh, Pokemon. Oh, that's his uncle, sir. He's my second Pokemon on my Pokemon team in Pokemon Black and White 2 that became level 100, and plus he is still on my team as a very strong hitter with Thunder, Fusion Bolt, Thunderbolt, and of course, uh, not Thunderbolt, uh, Zen Headbutt, and Vaco Meteor. So if you fight me, you know exactly my move pool. That's horrible. Coming in at number 5, Cobalion. For not only being my no my first level 100 for both Pokemon Black and White and Pokemon Black and White 2, he is an amazing uh, person that can knock out almost every level 50 and below Pokemon in um, in one hit or less. Well, no, there isn't less than one hit. You can probably just glare at them and they'll faint. And probably the most it'll do for high level Pokemon are 12 hits, but the lowest is 2, which is amazing. Coming in at number 4, which I wish I could put higher on this list, but just didn't make the top 3 cut, is Azelf. Azelf on its own is an epic Pokemon. Number 1 shares the unique characteristic out of all 3 Pokemon to share the same color as its skin. Well, blue and blue, not the exact same color, but very close. Also, it's one of the only Pokemon that is such a heavy special attacker that it was made into... Bam! Yes, I right, an uber legendary. Wow. And Zekrom, I'm not even sure if it's uber, because I'm not even sure if it's that good. I've used this more than it. So, let's continue on with saying, uh, Azop is a very strong attacker, and of course, it won me a lot of the games. I sold, I, um, sold people's teams with Azop. Coming in at number three, Leafeon. Leafeon has, only, has an amazing design, and I really like it. I understand why people don't like it, but still. It looks epic on its own and can learn a lot of cool moves, including some fire type moves, which is really good. What was I gonna say? <laughs> I have a script. I don't actually. I'm actually saying this very clearly without any jokes. Um, Eevee's a very strong Pokemon. What? Eevee? No, Leafeon is a very strong Pokemon. If you give it a chance, give it enough Eevee training, it might even be able to do a Solar Blast, Solar Beam. You can see how long I haven't played the video game. I haven't played in like two months. But I'm just waiting for X and Y. So, moving on. 
We have Lucario, which is possibly the most epic artwork ever of Lucario. Now I see one that's ten times also. Um, so basically, Lucario is one of my favorite Pokemon, number one, because of his awesome design. This looks much awesome than that, in my opinion. Not to mention, its show up in the movie was so mysterious and so awesome that I couldn't resist putting him on this list. Also, he's a very strong attacker on my team, but unfortunately, he doesn't have a good nature for speed. Unfortunately. My last, but you could say first, my favorite Pokemon is Victini. Like I said before, the Victory Pokemon will always make it to my heart as my number one favorite Pokemon. Now, this varies from different types of Victinis, from Shiny to Normal to Fat Made. I love all Victinis, and that will never change. Unless they come up with a Victini evolution, then probably uh, that'll probably destroy Victini. But Victini will stay my number one for most of the time. If it gets top, I will change my profile image. Yeah, I'll even do that. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe back for my next like. I'll see you guys next time. And this was recommended by Poke Paul. So, again, um, I'm going to say who was, was this recommended by and why. And oh, wow, under 10 minutes. New record. Hi, guys. Did you ever see you? And I just thought that this was really funny. I have some clips from before um, I started making this video. And um, I might post that as a different video. It was really, really funny, and um, I actually recorded it just because of this reason. And it's great. Now I'm done with the video. Oh, the next video will probably be the bloopers for this. So um, the bloopies for this. So see you guys then. Bye.